the events of 9-11 had a really significant impact on me. I wanted to serve my country. I wanted to, I wanted to do something in my life. There have been few moments that were just so profound as the day that I received my Eagle Globe and Anchor and became a Marine. When I go to the Marine Corps Memorial, I can't help but think of how many of them went through their service without being able to really be themselves and how many of them left families that have never been and will never be recognized for the support that they provide. We started off the night as though we were just going on the, the tour to look at all the holiday decorations in the White House. And we stopped at each tree and we got our picture taken. And then we got to the last tree and I turned to Ben and I got down on one knee and I asked him if he would marry me and he said yes. There are a lot of people who think that after Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed that, that that's it, that everything is fixed. The reality of it is the lives of the individual gay and lesbian service members was fixed. But repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell didn't change anything for our families. I'm being sent to Japan, and in order for Ben to go along, he will have to basically go as a civilian, just living on the economy in Japan. And I'm not going to be receiving an additional allowance to, to help us live as a family. That means we are cooking. I think people really take for granted how hard the government works to, and the military works to support families and make sure that every time they're transferred to a new duty station that the family doesn't fall apart. Children are transferred in schools, spouses are transferred in jobs, and everything just sort of happens automatically. But nothing happens automatically for us. The, the Marine Corps will continue to treat me as though I'm a single officer and not responsible for anything else when the reality is I'm responsible for my family the same way any other Marine is. Even though we will be married, the, the benefits that I would have if I were married to a woman don't apply because I'm marrying a man. What it means to be a military spouse to me is willing to support my soon-to-be husband and in, in his career choices and knowing and accepting the fact that we're, it's not a normal American life. Obviously I have an obligation to the Marine Corps and to my country, but personally I have an obligation to Ben, and I have an obligation to our family. Cheers baby, cheers, thanks for dinner. Yeah. Accompanied orders are for, are for families, are for Marines with dependents. We have a support network. Our family exists whether or not it's recognized.